Hi everyone, in this video, we'll show you how you can set up your teams within Zenduty, how you can add or invite your users within your Zenduty teams, and how you can assign roles and permissions to your users. Before we dive into the demo, let's again take a look at the basic tenant structure within Zenduty. So over here, we have an example of a Zenduty account called Randomify. So within this tenant, you have two teams, that's the application support team and the IT operations team. So the app support team has two members, that is Kevin and Kelly, and the IT operations team has two members, which is Jim and Dwight. So a single user within ZNDD can also be a part of multiple teams, with Michael here being a member of both these teams. Let's now see how we can create such teams and add more members. So just like contact methods, you can set up some of your team structure just through the quick start guide. Under step two, you'll see that ZNDD has automatically created a sample team for you. So you can edit the name for this team, add members here if you like. But to do this in more detail, we'll go to the Teams tab over here. You'll see all of the teams that are currently built into this account right now. And if you want to create a new team, we'll click on this button over here. And maybe let's create a team for database issues. Let's add Michael and Kevin as users. And now let's invite someone who's not even a part of the Zenduty account right now. Let's invite Ryan Howard. And once I click on Add, uh, any user who is not currently part of the Zenuity account will get an invite to join this team. If I go to the database issues team right now, you'll see that the team is created, all the users have been added, and Ryan would have gotten an invite link to join this team. Now let's talk about permissions. So Zenuity enforces permissions primarily at the account level and the team level. At the account level, you have the owner, the admins, and the users. The owner permission is given to only the account owner naturally and then you have the admin permissions which pretty much covers all the actions as the owner essentially create new teams modify mm -hmm. services add on call schedules everything else except billing and the user now is pretty much given read and write access to the teams and the incidents they're involved in so under users you can see all of the users in your account right now you can give them the permission that you want users or admins and you can also create custom roles via zenuity's role based access control but we'll dig into that a little while later the team permissions are pretty much just managers and users. The managers can set up integration services on call schedules and the users are just given read and write access to the incidents that are assigned to them. And that was all about teams, users and permissions. We'll dive deeper into permissions in our video about role-based access control later in the series. And in the next video, we'll cover setting up services and integrating with your monitoring, support and communication channels. 